Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth here at the Kenai Community Library coming at you with our ca last cast iron cooking where we're going to do some steaks in our cast iron skillet. So, I picked up a couple steaks that I think look good. And all that I like to do with my steak, and this is quite a simple and easy thing, take out your little, I drizzle a little bit of oil on my steaks. You can marinate, you can do whatever you want, but I drizzle some oil, get it on both sides. And this just kind of helps shear the steak just a tad. You can do whatever you want, whatever recipe you found, that's great. And then I put a little bit of salt. This is about one of the only times that I actually cook with salt. And a little bit of pepper. And you just kind of rub it on in. And let it sit for a couple minutes while you're getting your pan hot. And this is all you really need to prepare to go cook some great steak in a cast iron skillet. <clears throat> Alrighty, everybody. And just to let you know, we did film this the day after we did the mushroom gravy. So what I also have is I bought some instant mashed potatoes because we're going to feed the wonderful library staff this morning that have made it through all of the wonderful smells of cooking that we have done all summer long. So what I've done so far is I've got water going for my instant mashed potatoes and I've got my cast iron skillet here going up to about a medium heat. I don't really want it too much higher than a medium heat because steak can cook fast and if it sometimes cooks fast even though you have a really nice cut of meat it'll get really tough on you really quickly. So I've got it to medium. As you can see, I'm kind of just using my hand to just double check my heat temperature. And I'm probably just going to do one steak at a time. And this is about one of the only times that you can definitely use a metal fork because you're really not touching your cast iron. So let's go ahead and throw our first steak in. So now that we have our first steak in, I like it about six minutes each side. That gives me kind of a medium well. And if you ever have to reheat your steak, you get a well steak instead of a way overcooked steak. And honestly, truly, I set timers. I'm one of those crazy weird people that likes to set a timer when I'm cooking my steak. So then I don't have to count. I don't have to do math. And it tells me when my six minutes are up. One of the things that I will tell you guys that sometimes when you follow the recipes for cooking steaks that you will find in recipe books, I have found on two occasions make steak tartare, meaning you might have burnt the outside, but the inside is still very cold and very raw. So play with it like all of these recipes. Just play with it. Figure out what you like. Yes, you might have an overcooked steak on occasion. But you know what? You're learning what works for you and what works for your cast iron. Honestly, you just have to practice with your cooking and have fun while you're doing it. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but I'm sure you'll be able to see it at home. But you can actually kind of watch and see how well it's coming up the sides of your steak, how fast it's cooking. Okay, so now that we've hit our six minute mark, I'm just going to take my fork and I'm going to pick up my steak and look at that. Do you see how nice that is kind of braised on the top? My fat's nice and cooked. And now we're just going to let it cook for six minutes on the other side as well. Okay guys, so now that we're at our 12 minutes, we're going to take our steak off. Put it on our plate. As you can see, we're pretty well cooked. And of course, you always double check. And there's still a little pink. 
it looks pretty well done. You want to try to pick the biggest spot. And that actually looks pretty good. So we're going to stick our second steak in the pot. Alrighty, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed our virtual summer program on cast iron cooking. I hope that you feel more comfortable using and keeping up with your wonderful cast iron skillets because they're a wonderful tool to have in your kitchen. Um, Steak is easy, steak is fun, you know, just play with it. Like all of our recipes, put in what you want, play with it, make sure that it's what you like and what you want because that's the fun about cooking is you make it for you and for the people that you love and serve. So enjoy yourselves. I hope you guys had a great summer and we will see you at the library.